Hello Lions, I'm Dylan Wheatman. And I'm Angela Brayden Aguabil. And, and this, this is, is the Lions, Lions Roar. Today's date is Monday, November 27th. Welcome back from fall break. And welcome back to the Lions Roar. We only have a few announcements today, so let's just jump right in. Pack the house is happening tomorrow. tomorrow. That's right, tomorrow, Tuesday the 28th. Be there. Or else. The student body had a lot of winners. I'd love to see you next. Damn! Damn! Project, project, this ain't, ain't, ain't you want. Ain't, 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 this ain't what you want. Preseason team workouts for track and field will start tomorrow and continue every Tuesday and Thursday. If you're interested, room 281 is the place to be. Club photo day will be taking place December 5th throughout the day in the main gym. Check with your club advisor for times or check with Barb Dolan. You ladies all right? And now here's Danny Phelan with Athlete of the Week. I'm Danny Phelan here with Athlete of the Week, Tate Belleville. What sports are you involved in at Lawrence High, Tate? Unified sports. What unified sports are you involved in? Basketball, bowling, bocce ball. What is, what is one of your best memories of unified sports this year? I'm going to state for bowling. What was that experience like? It was an experience. Went out there, tried to win state and you'll have fun. How'd you guys do at state? We got fourth. Have you had any other accomplishments with unified sports, with like basketball or bocce ball? We got two gold medals in basketball. A lot of winning, a lot of winning. What would you say to someone that is like thinking about joining unified sports but isn't sure? What would you say to like encourage them? They should do it if I was them because it's fun, man. You get to meet people. It's a good time on top of it. I'm Danny Phelan with Athlete of the Week. Back to you guys in the studio. Last week, the LHS marching band went to Disney World in Florida. Here's Ben Williams and Naomi Sweet Pang with the story. While the rest of the school started their fall break last Friday, the LHS band started their break a couple days earlier. Before jumping on our magic carpet ride to Disney World, we got some pre-takeoff interviews as students started to arrive at the airport. What time did you wake up this morning? Uh, 6 a.m. 5.30. I woke up at 6.30. <laughs> like 6? Yeah, 6. six. six. What's your favorite plain snack? No. Oh, the little snack mix they give you. It's so good. The pretzel mix? Yeah, I agree with her. The snack mix. So water. It's every time. What's your first thing you're going to do when you get to Disney? Um, probably go to the hotel, take a little nap. <laughs> I'm going to Epcot first, because I want to go to the new Guardians of the Galaxy. After taking off from the KC airport, LHS took Florida by storm. The storm part became a little too literal, so we had to bring out the ponchos. How's the rain been? It's been very wet and very cold, but it's been a blast. Good. It hasn't been that bad. <laughs> good times. Uh, good times. Magical. Magical. Have the poncho. So Have pretty good. good. Happiest place on earth, baby. Good. Disney. Sorry. So how was the trip that here? Was painful. Wet. Was wet. <laughs> very, very. My feet are so wet. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Um, I'm wearing two pairs of socks because my shoes were still wet from before and I can confirm that both of them have soaked, are completely soaked. <laughs> Squelch level. <laughs> would you rather be barefoot or have your shoes on? I would rather have my shoes on. I'll keep my shoes on. Yeah. Okay, how wet are your socks right now? I'm not in socks. <laughs> Despite the harsh weather conditions, we ended the night with a feast at Epcot and a marvelous fireworks show thanks to Mike Jones. We made our way back on a full stomach to the resort and rested up for the long day ahead of us. After munching on some Mickey waffles for breakfast, it was time for the parade at Magic Kingdom. The Lawrence High School Marching
Once we finished the parade, we continued our adventures at the parks to experience the Disney magic. We went back to Epcot and made some stops at Mexico, Italy, Germany, and France. After parade day, the sun came out and we had one last day to make the most out of our trip. We made stops at all the parks, ending off with a show at Magic Kingdom wishing us a happily ever after. As the fireworks rang out, the LHS band's time came to a close. We parted ways from the resort and jumped on our magic carpet back home. That's all for today. Remember to tune in Friday for the next episode of The Lion's Roar. And, and remember, remember, it's, it's a, a great day, day to be a lion. lion.